Hey, what is going on everyone? NECA here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today so far. Today I'm bringing you guys a long-awaited, much-requested video, and that's how to download Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, also known as IW4X, install it on your PC, and play with controller support. If you've been missing Modern Warfare 2 from your childhood, whether you're a trick shot or sniper, or red gunner, or whatever, then IW4X is definitely the game for you. It's a PC client of Modern Warfare 2, meaning that you can make custom servers on it and basically modify the game to be played how you want, which a bunch of people have done with trick shotting servers, gun game servers, custom maps, etc. If this sounds interesting to you at all, then you came to the right video. Now let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how it's done so first things first how are you going to be starting you're going to be scrolling down going into the description below and you're going to be finding the link this is iw4x download and it's going to be a google drive link you're going to want to click on that and you're going to see this folder called fixes and then this file called iw4x plus controller support dot rar once you find this, you can download the whole folder if you want, but it's not necessary. This is really the only file you need at first. Unless something doesn't work, then you'll be using the fixes, obviously. So yeah, you're going to right click on this file and click download. It's going to say, yeah, 13.8 gigabytes. You can't scan it for viruses. You're going to download it anyway. And you can see, yeah, it's starting to download here at the bottom. Uh, it's going to take... My connection's good, so it won't take me long at all. It might take people longer. I've heard some people say 30 minutes. I've heard hours. I've heard 10 minutes. It really depends on your internet speed, but yeah, you can see mine's going pretty good. Um, but I'm going to catch up with you guys when it's done downloading. All right, guys, the file is downloaded. I had it saved to my desktop. Well, it's saved to my downloads folder, but I dragged it to my desktop so I could show you guys better. I suggest doing it here too. But yeah, you're going to double click on it. You can see it's a WinRAR file. Uh, you're going to want to close out of that and then you'll see this iw4x and controller support file when you go into it you'll see you have a bunch of files you probably don't know what they mean and you don't really need to worry about them yet uh, or at all but you're going to double click back out of here and you're going to extract the full folder to wherever you want it for me personally it's going to be the desktop and now when i click ok it's going to extract the full game uh, it might take a little while for people if you don't have a good computer my computer is pretty good so it happens pretty quick uh, it's still not that quick though, I don't know, it's a 14 gigabyte file so it might take a little bit to extract. But yeah guys, I'm gonna cut to when it's done doing that and I'm gonna catch back up with you and explain what to do next. Alright guys, I now have that full file, the IW4X and controller support folder extracted to my desktop. So now I'm just gonna open up the folder, you're gonna see all this stuff before that was in WinRAR, but it's actually finally extracted now. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna double click IW4X and the game should load up. Uh, see, so you're gonna have to do that thing that just popped up here. Let me tab out real quick so it shows you guys. Um, you're gonna have to allow private networks to connect like that. You're gonna do allow access and then go back into the game. And as oh, do I want to start another instance? Not all features will be available. Sometimes that happens. I uh, just click no. It didn't realize that I already had a game open. I tried opening two of them too quick. But here, I loaded this one back up. Oh, excuse my lighting for a second. Uh, it's just because my face cam went all black and my screen went all black. Because as you guys can see, this IW4X is tiny over there because the resolution isn't set up right. We're going to fix that real quick. So we're going to do I understand on this main little screen. It's going to ask you to make your player name. I'm going to do NECA, obviously, because that's my name. And then I'm going to go into options. I have a 1440p monitor, so I'm going to be putting it on 2560 by 1440. But if you have a 1080p monitor, which most people have, you're going to want to do, I think it's 1920 by 1080. Yeah, you're going to want to do that option. And I'm going to be doing 2560 by 1440. I turn full screen off because uh, the program I use to record OBS, it helps with that. I can maybe do another video explaining how I record on this game if that's something you guys are interested in. Just let me know. Then after that, you're going to click back and it's going to ask you if you want to apply your settings, which you do. And then as you see, hopefully this works. Yep, it's full screen again. There we go. In good quality. Hey, what's up everyone? NECA from the future here. I was just editing this video together and I realized that I forgot to go into options and turn the audio down when I was recording this tutorial originally. So like you guys just heard in that last clip, the music was like ear piercingly loud. I have no idea why they made it that loud in this game. But um, yeah, you couldn't even hear what I was saying at all. The tutorial was a complete mess. So here I am re-recording it. So after you get the resolution figured out and the audio lowered, please remember to lower the audio so you don't blow your eardrums like I did when I was watching my footage back. Alright, after that, uh, you're gonna go in, you're gonna put on 10 sensitivity obviously, so yeah, gonna turn that up. If you want to put on PS3 icons, you can. I do personally because I use a PS4 controller, so it just makes it easy for me. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to um, hook up a PS4 controller for this. Because normally you can only use an Xbox controller for the plug and play. So yeah, I'm going to throw the PS3 buttons on. 
and what now oh yeah we're gonna go back to video and it says maximum fps 85 which is not what you want you can change your fps to like a bunch of different things in this by clicking through you can go to 125 250 333 and don't get me wrong those are better for like movement and strafing and just general gaming but that's not what you want for trick shotting at all the one you're gonna want is like 60 but if you see by clicking through you can't get 60 so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back out here and if you look at your keyboard there's actually a button right next to like the exclamation point and one button it's a squiggly line and like an apostrophe that button is called the tilde you're going to want to hit that and that brings up your console if you see at the top of the screen up there and what you're going to do on that is you're going to type in commands these commands allow you to do things that you can't normally do in the game like bind stuff and i don't know access commands like this and what you're going to do is you're going to do slash what you do before every command is that slash um a forward slash at that so forward slash com like com underscore max fps and then if you want to do 60 it'll feel exactly like console but the lower the fps it actually is like the easier to do some trick shots like knacks and stuff it makes the timings much easier for them so i end up doing 58 because you don't want to go too low where it doesn't still look smooth like 60 fps but 58 looks close enough where it's not a big deal for editors or anything and it actually makes knacking and like some other trick shots easier so try that out if you're struggling get out of the console you have to hit that same tilde button and then yeah so you can move around again the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get everything in the game unlocked the good old school 10th prestige challenge lobby from back in the day you used to have to pay 1600 microsoft points for these bad boys and let's be real you probably just got scammed either way now all you gotta do is open barracks click this little unlock stats button unlock and oh wait my face cam's in the way can i move that real quick hold on yeah i'm moving that see just real quick i'm gonna click the unlock stats button unlock and boom, I'm 10th level 70, just like that, baby. Way too easy. All right, move that back. As you can see, we got custom guns. We got the M40, we got the Dragonov. I'm gonna throw in the M40, and for the pistols, we also got the Gold Eagle, which is pretty cool. You can run around with Kimbo Gold Eagles. I'm gonna throw on a throwing knife, gun grenades. I always throw on lightweight because stopping power doesn't matter in the trick shotting service. You can shoot through every wall. There's like paper walls for infinite wall banks. So lightweight is definitely the one for moving faster and quick aim after something. And then steady aim obviously because you know scopes go straighter. Um, everyone wants that for trick shotting, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't you? Alright, so now that we got everything basic in game that you can just set up with keyboard and mouse done, now it's time to actually set up the controller support. The original file that you downloaded should have came with the controller support, so if you have an Xbox One controller that's wired, you should just be able to plug it right in and just play. Unfortunately, I don't. I have a PS4 controller, so I have to go through and use this program called DS4 Windows. I'll be providing a download link in the description. It's really easy to use. Here, I'm going to show you guys how to use it now. Oh wait, before I do, if you're wondering if you have a wireless Xbox One controller, you just have to buy like the Bluetooth adapter. I don't think it's very much. Uh, I'll try to find a link and I'll leave that in the description as well if I can find it. And as far as using a PS4 controller, I think you need to buy a Bluetooth adapter if you want to do it wirelessly. But here's the way to do it wired. Oh, and Xbox 360 controllers have to be wired, I believe. Okay, now let's get into the PS4 controller tutorial finally. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to search up on my program or on my computer. I'm going to look for this program, DS4 Windows. I'll be leaving this link in the description as well. Uh, it's another one of these folders just like IW4X with a bunch of stuff like .dll fold or files. You don't have to worry about any of that. You're just going to want to open the program, DS4 Windows and have a ps4 controller plugged in this is only if you're using a ps4 controller guys if you're using an xbox 360 or one controller all you have to do is plug it in and it'll work it's like a plug and play game or if you want to use a wireless one you have to use like a wireless bluetooth adapter but you can use xbox controllers with this easy because they're microsoft just like windows so they're easily compatible but sony owns ps4 and playstation controllers obviously so they're not as compatible so you need this program ds4 windows i'm going to skip the version for the new update just for the tutorial sake i'm going to have to get it after though because it looks like it has a bunch of stuff it fixes and as you can see it has my controller id this one right here this is my current controller i'm using battery 100 percent and then um you can even change the color with it you can see i have red right now oh here let me drag that over yep you can see i have red i can pull that up use custom color i can change that to like green i can do yellow you can do a bunch of different stuff with this i end up just keeping it on red because i think it looks the coolest also with this program you can edit certain stuff like what buttons do what on your controller so i guess i don't know you could probably use this to bind buttons to other stuff well you definitely can but i have the touchpad on the ps4 controller here's another uh, little piece of advice i bind that every little button to it so left touch right touch multi-touch upper touch and then the touchpad itself, I put all of those on unassigned or unbound. Because if you move this 
around in game on mw2 it'll actually spin you just by the touch and if you press down on it it'll do like it'll aim in it'll shoot they're all bound to weird buttons for some reason so you're going to want to turn all those off and then once this program is open you don't want to close out of it here let me click x real quick and look it'll say this will disconnect all of your connected controllers proceed which obviously you don't want to do because you want to be able to use the controller so you're going to click no and it's going to leave this open and running in the background don't worry about it at all now you're going to open iw4x back up real quick uh, just wait for it to load. And this screen is like the longest part of it. It's actually a fairly quick game. And then here, once we get back into it, let me show you guys in the main menu. I will be able to scroll. Oh, there we go. We love to see that. We got it working like it's nothing. All right, I promise no more of that messed up footage that was all from earlier. But now you can see we're back on the game. And your next step is going to be to find the servers that you like and favor them. So as you can see, all the servers are loading in now that I have access to. Uh, here are the ones I'm looking for, the SNR, SND, Vanilla ones. Shout out to Shocky and Raze, they're the ones who are behind the servers. Uh, but basically what you're going to do, you're going to click the ones that you want. So for me, they're the SNR, SND, Vanilla ones. And he's going to click Add to Favorites here at the bottom. So I'm going to do that for a few of these. Because sometimes like when they're loading and you try to join one too quick, you'll end up in like a Nameless Noobs or uh, another server like that. So here, I'm going to favorite a few of these. And there's other good servers too, don't get me wrong. Like you can go to the... The VK's ones, so those are new ones, there's no one in them at the moment. Uh, I favored one of those here. 71st Recon, those are another good server. I see a lot of people playing in those. All of these have different things with the mods, like each one has their own unique stuff. I personally like the SNR ones the best. I think the menu looks really clean, and I just like how everything goes. I like the almost hit features. But a lot of the maps have similar features, a lot have their own unique. I'm uh, not maps, sorry, a lot of the servers. But yeah, I'm favoring a bunch of the trick shotting ones. If you see, I can go to the bottom here. There's like Australian ones as well. I'll add it to my favorites just for the sake of this video, but I'll never be playing in that. Look at the ping. And uh, EU as well. Can't forget those. Ramos's lobby. Huh. I add to favorites. We got all those. And then if you see at the top, it says source internet. You're going to click that once. It's going to go to source favorites. And here's all the ones I favorited. So here, let me join up on this high rise one part is lobby real quick the first every time you join a game it's going to do this thing where it says increasing security level that's just so you download the mod see it says your new security level is 23 you'll never have to do that again only the first every time you join into one of these servers you can see i have a psg one on oh i skipped it too quick but it said i accepted these rules or i don't accept the rules uh that's just if you're a trick shotter in the server or not if you click i don't accept the rules it's going to kick you because like this one of the rules are your last kill must be a trick shot Leaving the game before your kill cam is not allowed, and be nice with the other players, trash talking won't be tolerated. Here, I'm just gonna go for a little shot real quick, just leave the game real quick. I was just showing you guys the controller support and everything works like that. So here, I'm gonna leave the game quick. And you can see we now got the custom SNR servers main menu. Uh, I can change my title and emblem if I wanna. Uh, I don't have any of my custom ones on, but if you guys want, I'll release a pack with all my custom ones. They're actually pretty cool. I have a bunch of them as well. I can show them off in another video, even make a tutorial on how to make them if you guys are interested in that now i can also make my trick shotting classes as well as you can see since i'm in the s and hour servers now i have all these custom guns that i didn't have before if you put on one of these though and it's uh like a linked gun to a mod like a mod in one of the servers you won't be able to use it so like if i try to use this links in a 71st recon since it's part of the s and hour servers mod it won't let me unfortunately oh wait i forgot something i have to hop back in the game real quick to show you guys and look just like that all the games are full damn i need to find one that's not full an s and hour one so i can show you guys a cool feature Feature on it uh, are there any that aren't full here there's one spot in the scrapyard one oh I think I clicked scrapyard but it brought me to favela tropical which is a custom map so if you guys haven't seen this yet you're gonna get a little sneak peek this is something that's available in IW4X but not console but once you get in here oh that guy was on a little secret roof you can't normally get to on a console either but once you go in you can go to edit a class in game which is sweet but the best part about that is you can go to secondary weapon and you can use any uh, assault rifle or anything like that. So let's say I want to put on uh, Scar H for a can swap. Scar H with a harpy sensor. Why not? No camo. And every time I pull it out, well not every time, but I have a Scar H. And then you can just change class mid-game like nothing. And then change back and 
I have another can swap if you want to go for shots like that. It's also just pretty cool that you can use a primary as a secondary in general. And as you guys can see, I can't kill him. I can only shoot him with a scar. You can only kill him with a sniper, and I'm not going to ruin the lobby and do that. I'm just going to leave the game quick, let someone else join up real quick. But yeah, you guys are now masters of IW4X. I've taught you everything I know, basically. There's a few little more hidden tricks that I can maybe do a tutorial on. Just like, well, they're not even really hidden. But the custom titles, custom emblems, uh, you can do like custom graffiti on walls, kill streaks, like a custom favela billboard. There's a lot of things you can change in this game. I can show you guys how to do that all if it's something you'd be interested in. I already have one custom camo pack out. I'll be dropping a few more of those custom camo packs eventually. I'm about to go on vacation, but when I get back, I'm going to be working on them a bunch, so stay tuned for those. OGK also has our custom camo pack out. You can find that on the OGK channel. It's not even just a custom camo pack. It has like a heartbeat sensor, graffiti, billboard. Uh, camos, basically everything I was talking about before. Alright, so at this point in the tutorial, everything should be working fine in your IW4X, but if it isn't, I got a few more fixes for you guys, so here, let's get into those now. I know some people have problems getting the game to run, like if they have Steam open, so if your game isn't running, one thing you can do is close Steam from your task manager completely, like go into your processes and details or whatever. Here, let me do that real quick. So I'd go into details, I would find Steam, I don't think mine is open. Yeah, it's not open at the moment, but I'd close that. That might make your game run better or make the controller support work. I don't know what problems people had with that exactly. Even though this was pretty straightforward, for some reason it doesn't work for some people. It might just be related to their computer or whatever, but what I'm going to do if you see in the Google Drive folder that you originally downloaded the controller support and IW4X file from, there's something called fixes. Uh, if the controller support is what's not working, you're going to want to download this file right here. I'm going to download it real quick. Here, let me wait till that is done. All right, now you see we have the IW4X controller support updated 12920 file on my desktop. So what you're going to want to do, I'm actually not going to do it right now and show it off because I don't want to mess up my game since mine is already working. You're going to basically select everything in this folder besides uh, the two dots or whatever, that folder at the top, because that's just like part of WinRAW, that's not actually the file. And you're going to extract two. You're going to scroll down here and you're going to find the file on your desktop. That's why I keep mine on my desktop, but you can move yours to program files or wherever. You're going to find your IW4X and controller support file. If you haven't renamed it yet, it'll still be called that. I never rename mine, so it should be that. It's not going to be like this little IW4X folder or any of the ones inside of it. You're just going to want to click that original folder and click OK. As you can see, the update mode is extract and replace files, so it's going to take all these files from here and it's going to replace the original controller support files in the original file you downloaded with the updated ones. So if the original ones won't work, and the updated ones should and it'll work better. Okay, and there's one final problem you might be having, and that's another thing that'll be fixed by this redist installer.bat. Basically, some people, when they're loading the game, they get a thing that says fatal error, and they can't load the game because it says something's wrong with their files. Uh, the specific files are the .dll ones. So you might load the game and get a fatal error saying bank w32, iw4x, and mss32.dll like, can't be opened or they won't work good with your computer or they're missing or something like that. All you're gonna wanna do, guys, is so easy. You're just gonna take this uh, redist installer that is in the file, you're gonna download it. It might say it's a virus or something, it's cause it's not really detected by, uh, by like Windows properly. Trust me guys, it's not a virus. I'm not giving you a virus. Same thing on Podis tutorial and like everyone else's. Even the people that make IW4X suggest this method. But uh, you're just gonna download it, and then once it's on your computer, see, yes, yeah, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you wanna keep it? You are gonna wanna keep it, and it's just as simple as opening it and just running it. That easy. Once it does that, it's gonna do the redist installation. I don't even know what that means, but it fixes the files in the long run, so who cares? That is gonna be a wrap on the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know today was kind of a longer tutorial, but if you wanna do something, you gotta do it the right way. So sometimes you gotta take the extra steps to make sure everything's running perfect. I know it's longer than most of the other IW4X tutorials on YouTube, but I have a few other fixes in there that other people don't have, as well as a separate download. Not the one from Mega that a bunch of people are downloading and there's always limits and stuff, so I'd go as far as to say I might have the best tutorial for this on youtube right now guys i'm recording this as of march 2020 and everything is up to date but if anything changes i'll let you guys know in the description title even uh comment section below you guys will definitely know don't worry if this tutorial did help you at all today please make sure to drop a like rating on the video and also drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what your name's going to be on iw4x when you come join me and hit some build camps if you download an iw4x and you clearly enjoy modern warfare 2 content so if you enjoy trick shotting content then my channel is definitely the right place for you i post mw2 iw4 trick shotting videos every single day so if you are new to my channel and you wouldn't mind subscribing it would mean a lot to me it would help me out more than you guys know i am on the road to 5,000 subscribers and i'm only like 500 away 
so every subscriber helps it really does yeah that's gonna be everything for today i hope my goal with this video is to help at least one person download iw4x but if more people get it that's even better and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow with another banger upload peace out everyone knock out